Now more than ever, our favorite comic book characters can be seen on the big screen, but they may not look exactly how you remember them. When superheroes and supervillains go from page to screen, sometimes they lose a few iconic costume pieces along the way, and other times they just look nothing like their comic book counterparts. Whether you think these costumes are a modern upgrade or a totally unnecessary change to a classic character, here are 10 superhero movie costumes that look nothing like the comics. Wolverine there's no question that out of all the X-Men, Wolverine has one of the most recognizable costumes. But yellow spandex is great in theory, and not so much in practice. In the 2000 film X-Men, director Brian Singer did away with the classic yellow and blue look and opted for a less flashy black leather suit for Wolverine and the rest of the team. Most of the other X-Men movies to date have stuck with a more dressed down Logan. Although, a deleted scene from the Wolverine did show a glimpse of Wolverine's mask from the comics. Hugh Jackman may not wear Wolverine's signature cowl, but at least he has Logan's goofy haircut. Rhino Sometimes comic book movies tweak a costume slightly, and sometimes they just go in a completely different direction. That was the case with the villain Rhino in the 2014 film The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Spider-Man movies have burned through a lot of Spidey's classic foes by now, but Rhino was probably the most different in his big screen debut. In the comics, Rhino is powered by mutagenic chemicals and gamma radiation. These give him super strength and durability. On top of it all, he wears an impenetrable Rhino-themed suit. But in the movie, he's more of an ordinary guy controlling a Rhino-themed robot, similar to the Ultimate Spider-Man version of the character. And he's still no match for Peter Parker. Bullseye In the comics, Bullseye is a psychopath assassin. He might not have superpowers of his own, but he can turn almost any object into a deadly weapon. In the 2003 Daredevil film, he's Colin Farrell with a weird tattoo on his head. Bullseye of the Daredevil comics is known for his black or blue suit with white bullseye emblazoned on his forehead. The movie took it a step further, literally carving the bullseye design into his skin and completely ignoring the rest of the costume. It's an interesting look but not especially recognizable to any Daredevil fans. Catwoman There have been several Catwoman on film, all with varying degrees of costume accuracy. Michelle Pfeiffer from the 1992 film Batman Returns wears a pretty close copy of the leather cat suit from the comics, although it does have a few more stitches thrown in there. Anne Hathaway from The Dark Knight Rises looks pretty close too, even though her cat ears are actually goggles. But Halle Berry's Catwoman from Catwoman is just a mess. She has the cat ears, but after that it's pretty much leather underwear. Catwoman may have sex appeal in the comics, but she's usually a bit more covered up. Or at the very least, she doesn't have all those useless leather straps hanging around. Baron Zemo Here's a villain who's just about as different as you can get. In the comics, there are two Baron Zemos, a father and son, and both rock a funky purple ensemble. Baron Helmut Zemo is a major Captain America villain, known for his signature purple mask which only shows his eyes. The recent film Captain America Civil War went in a completely different direction though. They made Zemo look like an ordinary guy with brown hair, no mask, and no particular supervillain costume. It makes sense for the heavily modified version of the character, with a different backstory and motivation, but it's not nearly so creepy as the classic Zemo getup. Mystique Somewhere in the process of that first X-Men movie back in 2000, someone decided that Mystique should be naked and covered in lizard scales. She's still blue, just like in the comic. But in the comic book, Mystique is usually wearing some degree of clothing, and she's never drawn with all those scales. Maybe the textured look popped more on camera and her lack of clothes does make a certain amount of sense giving her shape-shifting abilities. But it's safe to say that she looks very, very different from her comic book self. And she's definitely never seen in her signature white costume. Hawkeye Hawkeye may have started as a villain in the 1960s, but he's gone on to become one of the most recognizable Avengers. The Hawkeye we see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, however, is quite a bit different from the Hawkeye of the comics. In Marvel Comics, Hawkeye is decked out in a purple suit and mask with an H on his head. In the Avengers films, however, Hawkeye goes without the mask, wearing all black or a dark colored vest. To be fair, the cinematic look is much less distracting for an archer who relies on stealth. Scarlet Witch Sometimes a fancy costume just doesn't make sense within the context of the movie. With Scarlet Witch in Avengers Age of Ultron and Captain America Civil War, there isn't much of an opportunity for her to get all dolled up in a red leotard and headpiece. But in the comics, she has a much more glamorous look, with her scarlet bodysuits, cape, and crown. In the MCU, Wanda has to make do with her red jacket and black dress. It's definitely a more casual look, but probably a lot more comfortable. Deadpool the 2016 Deadpool movie has impressed fans with its faithful adaptation of the character. 
But let's not forget that Ryan Reynolds first made his debut as Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine back in 2009, and that version of Deadpool looked nothing like the Merc with the mouth we all know and love. The X-Men Origins Deadpool didn't have his iconic red suit, his powers were pretty much random, and his mouth was sewn shut. All in all, he looked nothing like Deadpool of the comics. At least not until he got his own movie. Harley Quinn Few comic book characters have had their wardrobes as thoroughly scrutinized as Harley Quinn has had. Though her iconic suit does get a nod in the film, fans were surprised to see that her main outfit in Suicide Squad was such a departure from her classic jester costume. For the most part, she wears a t-shirt and hot pants. Of course, even comic book Harley has been drawn in increasingly skimpy outfits over the years. And we can only assume her t-shirt is a lot more comfortable for stunts than a jester-style corset would be. Those are just a few of the superhero movie costumes that look nothing like the comics. Can you think of any more? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.